interdisciplinarial and interdisciplinary program, and we use these items as we pursue our academics, our research, and our policies. So as far as our degrees, as I mentioned, we are one of the graduate schools at Yale University, so we offer master's degrees and a PhD option. We have four traditional master's degrees that focus on environmental management, environmental science, forestry, and forest science. The environmental management and forestry degrees are considered professional degrees uh, and are typically a terminal degree, meaning that students would not continue on for a PhD after they complete these two degree options. They typically would move directly into the workforce after completing their master's degree. The environmental science and forest science are considered research-based degrees and require a thesis, and oftentimes students will choose to continue on to pursue a PhD after completing the environmental science or forest science degree program. We also have a one-year mid-career master's degree option, which requires that applicants have a minimum of seven years of professional environmental work experience and new students can pursue a one-year Master of Environmental Management or a one-year Master of Forestry. We also have a five-year joint bachelor's degree for students who are currently completing their bachelor's degree at Yale University. And these students apply to the Environmental Management or Environmental Science program during their senior year, their final year of undergraduate study. Continuing with the master's degree, we also offer joint degree options or concurrent degree options in the following areas at Yale, with the Architecture School, the Divinity School, through the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences in International Development Economics and International Relations. We have three different joint law juris doctorate programs. Um, through Yale University, Pace University, and Vermont Law School. So Pace University is in New York State, slightly north of New York City, and Vermont Law School is in the state of Vermont. It's about four hours drive from Yale University. Um, we also offer two different MBA joint degree options. The first is through the School of Management at Yale. And then the second option is through the Universidad de los Andes in Bogota, Colombia. And then our last joint degree option is with the School of Public Health here at Yale University. Finally, we have the PhD program, which is technically offered through the Yale Graduate School of Arts and Sciences. And so it's, it's not administered through the admissions office here at Forestry and Environmental Studies. Students would have to apply directly to the graduate school. These are some of the areas of study that we include here at Yale Forestry and Environmental Studies. Today's quite a broad spectrum that ranges from climate and atmospheric sciences down to conservation and development. So our students, many of them will be looking at both biophysical science issues and social science or policy issues. And so there are many different areas of interest that our students pursue. We have a number of research centers here for both faculty members and students, and they range from the Center of Environmental Law and Policy, Business and the Environment, uh, one of the areas that is extremely of interest in this category currently is energy. That's a very exciting um, area of study, and there's a lot of research and interest going on here at the school currently. The Center for Green Chemistry and Green Engineering at Yale, the Center for Industrial Ecology, the Hickson Center for Urban Ecology, the Tropical Resources Institute, the Forum for Religion and Ecology at Yale, Environmental Leadership and Training Initiative. This is actually a joint program with the Smithsonian Institute. And so many of these students that are um, participating in the Environmental Leadership and Training Program are studying forest-related issues in tropical countries. And then the final organization is the Global Institute of Sustainable Forestry. There are other research centers and areas of research here on Yale's campus that our students can participate and work with. 
Um, but these are the ones that are specifically at forestry and environmental studies. To give you an idea of a little bit of the background for our master's students, uh, this year we welcomed 137 new master's students from 30 different states and territories here in the U.S. and 20 different countries. Our student population is slightly more female than male, and um, typically about a, one quarter of our students are non-U.S. citizens. So this year we had 24% of our student body was from outside of the United States. Our average student age is approximately 26, so most people have at least two to three years of work experience before joining our program. The average undergraduate GPA is a, approximately a 3.6, and this is out of a 4.0 scale, which is commonly used here in the United States. Um, I've also included average GRE scores for our incoming students, and then, as I mentioned, two to four years of professional work experience prior to enrollment. Overall, we usually have about 300 master's degree students and then 75 PhD students here at the school at any one time. Here are some important admissions and financial aid dates. So the master's application is due on December 15, 2011, and this would be to enter the, the um, master's degree program in August of 2012. So our students are applying approximately one year before they plan to enroll in graduate school. Students may still submit applications after the December 15th deadline, but we will only accept these if we have space to consider them. Uh, financial aid through the master's degree program in order to be considered for scholarships from the School of Forestry and Environmental Studies, you must submit an application and this would need to be submitted by February 15, 2012. No applications will be uh, accepted after this date, so it is very important that you submit your financial aid materials on time so that you can be considered for scholarships here at the school. In order to apply for financial aid, international students must submit the Forestry and Environmental Studies Financial Aid application, and that will be available on our website starting next month in October. Uh, for anyone who is interested in the PhD program, those applications are due on January 2nd, 2012. I realize this is a little bit small, but here are the application degree uh, requirements. So we require an online application form. Actually, all of these materials are submitted electronically. We do not collect um, paper or hard copy materials. So we require an online application form, a personal statement, a resume or curriculum detail. Uh, we do not necessarily care about the format of this document, so it could be one page or it could be three pages, depending on your work experience. Uh, three letters of reference from professors or from supervisors through your employment, if you are currently employed. We require transcripts from every post-secondary institution attended, so college or university. And we actually do require that our transcripts be evaluated. Um, students are, there are two basic options. You could use an education credential evaluating service, such as WEST or ECE, and if you use one of these organizations, you must have a course-by-course -course evaluation for your bachelor's degree. And this would be for degrees that were completed outside of the United States or Canada. We require the GRE, the GMAT, or LSAT exam report. Our students are able to take any of these three exams. Most people will take the GRE but some people will choose to take the GMAT if they are pursuing also an MBA degree or the LSAT for students who are pursuing a law degree here in the United States. Again, we require the TOEFL or the IELTS exam report for students whose native language is not English or who have not had um, their university or primary education 
and an English-speaking institution. An $80 application fee, which I know for students from Iran can be difficult because the conversion to U.S. dollars is often difficult. So we are able to waive that application fee for students who are applying to our master's degree program. And then we have two optional materials that may be included. A writing sample in English, and then also a diversity statement, which would tell us a little bit more about you, uh, what makes you unique, and how you would add to um, the character of our student body. So some of you may be wondering, where is Yale University, and what does New Haven, Connecticut look like? So New Haven is located on the Connecticut shoreline, about uh, halfway along the shoreline there of the um, state of Connecticut. Connecticut is near New York State, so New Haven is about an hour and a half northeast of New York City, if you're looking for a landmark. So we are approximately halfway between New York City and Boston, Massachusetts. We are a state that's in somewhat of a temperate zone, uh, so we have four seasons here. We have summer, winter, fall, and spring. To give you an idea, um, temperatures typically range, can range during the year from approximately minus 9 to approximately 32 degrees Celsius, and we usually average about 10 centimeters of rain per month here. And then here's some contact information for both the master's program and then the PhD program here at Forestry and Environmental Studies. Okay, I think that we can, that's the end of my presentation, so I'd be happy to open it up to questions.